I have printed almost all the parts for Sam and I's Hexapod. So, uh, I have all the parts in a box, but here we have most of one of the legs, um, that basically I just built to make sure that everything actually fits together and that we don't go to build and it's just like, huh, this doesn't work, and then have to reprint everything. So I have one leg that is pretty much completely built. Uh, it has a few other parts that aren't completely put together. I don't even have all the screws. We're going to buy them tomorrow. Sam's going to uh, be here and we'll build. So expect another video tomorrow. Um, I've got this part for the base. So you'll notice this is kind of a weird part for a hexapod. Um, each one of these mounts the leg, and I'm going to show that in a minute. But it only fits half the legs. And the reason why is because my 3D printer here, which is actually printing right now, uh, another one of these parts, uh, there's supposed to be there's supposed to be two of these printed, and they interlock uh, on this side. So if you flip this around, it'll actually fit, and then um, there will be a, a bracing piece underneath and on top that will mount all the all the computer, the electronics, and the um, make the pieces actually fit together. And then there'll be six legs that mount on. So, at the end of this, I'm actually going to show a video of this part itself being printed. Um, but right now, I want to show you kind of how this works more in depth. So, Sam came up with this really brilliant idea of making the servo horn be embedded into uh, the plastic. So, I have this really low quality 3D printer. You'll notice if you look closely, it might be hard to see, hang on that there's these weird uh, rings in my print. Now, that's normal. There's layers in 3D printing, but mine actually shifts. There's a um, a screw, like, I don't know the mechanical term for it, that basically it moves around. It's really bad, and, yeah, it causes these really weird rings, especially in parts that are tall. So if you want to screw something in to the servo horn, it's none of the dimensions are absolutely perfect. So instead, we opted to use the servo horn because it just works. So if I grab some of these pieces, this one, uh, this is a part that just was off the printer. I haven't even taken the um, brim yet off of it. So I finally got a servo horn. So you have this little servo horn here, and it's designed to fit into here. It's actually a little bit difficult to put in. It doesn't really like to go in, but it does fit. And uh, I actually find that usually you don't need anything really screwed in here much. It'd be good to have a screw just in the center at least, so that uh, it's the uh, 3D printed plastic is sandwiched in between. But um, I just haven't done that yet, it's just, this is really just a prototype here, just to make sure everything works, so I didn't, I didn't really pay attention to details uh, quite as much here as I'd want to in the final design. But I implemented this embedding, the servo horn idea, um, in all the joints. So there's one here, uh, if I were to take this piece of plastic off, and there's one in here, although it's really difficult to see, especially since this is black and it's dark and... yeah. But, oh yeah, it, I actually put it together here so you can see the little servo horn in there. That one's a little bit hard to get in there, but it works. Alright, without further ado, let's, uh, let's kinda, kinda show how this would be put together. So the idea is that you have your base and this piece mounts on here. So this is kind of the way that the leg will actually go on there. And so we can see that the leg can rotate around. It's probably not great for the servo motor for me to do that, but it's okay. Um, 
So this screws onto here, and then this can rotate around. I haven't actually mounted these together, but they, uh, for the proto this little prototype, but they go like this. So if this leg can rotate around, kind of, this is actually hard to get in the camera, but it might look, uh, this isn't hard. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this. Okay, so you can see that this goes on here, like that, kind of. And then this, oh yeah, I can move it like, like that. Mounts on there like that. So if you actually look at it, most of the most of the robot is actually the legs, not the not the base, which might actually look really cool. Looks like might look like a really uh <laughs> Like a rather large, large spider with a very small body. So yeah, that's kind of where uh, we are at. Uh, nothing's really built much. I mean, this is built, obviously, and uh, that works, but nothing else really is yet. Um, but almost everything's printed. So yeah, not much more for this little, uh, this really crappy printer to do. <laughs> It's okay, it's, it's, at least it works. It's what I could afford. Alright, thanks for watching. Have a good day.